This year ended with a blast, with many Hatros cars that collectors wanted. We managed to hunt for them and most of us were happy, but now we're on to 2023 and it hasn't started as great as the previous one ended, let's check the highlights of the first two cases and see why. There are many situations when Mattel is going to change the name of a Hatros model just to leave the casting unchanged and I strongly disagree with this mainly because usually when I see a new name my mind goes to a new casting overall. It is also the case with the 2023 Nissan Z which is just previous year's Nissan Z Proto. Without doing too much research I just picked it off the pegs thinking it was a new casting. Although this color variation is nice, I enjoy the rims in black and it has kept all the details from previous models. It is a nice JDM car, looking at the body, we can easily notice this is the successor of the 370Z. Do you think Hatlus should have kept the previous name, the Nissan Z Proto? One of the most wanted castings from last year was this version of the Nissan Silvia and this year has started with the black color variation and gold highlights. It even has gold lines on the rims and it looks amazing like that and probably no other wheels choice could have been better. The first release was my favorite color, white. And this is another JDM car that collectors in my area just went crazy for it and hoarded each one they found on the pegs. I'm really impressed on what Hatus did with this version and if I find another one I will definitely open it and enjoy it out of the blister. You know me by now and we can't really have a video without a super sports car with today's turn, the 2017 Pagani Huayra Roadster. A supercar produced in limited amount of units in real life but in enough quantities under the Hatus brand for any collector to get at least one if they so desire. All the details are here, front and back, regular paint scheme that you could also see on this model if you'd spot it on the streets. The rims are also a great choice and although it is missing the mirrors, the Sri Wasada design definitely makes me happy. I would also be very happy if you enjoy this type of content and the information is helpful, subscribe to my channel. It would help me a lot. Thank you. White being my favorite color, or better said, non-color, the first release of the Tesla Model Y was a must-have for my collection. While we might not have as many electric vehicles as we had in the past videos, it is almost impossible not to have at least one. Details are there and they look great, back and front, see-through roof that reveals a simple interior design. Rims go well as they are full black 10 spokes and probably another color accent would have ruined the look. This one is just a smaller version of the Model X as they look almost identical with all the details and even the roof. Maybe more than one electric vehicles as this is the direction we are going with the manufacturers in real life. Might also be why Hatlus made the segment Hatlus Green Speed. The e-hybrid version of this Porsche Panamera it is the fourth color variation in total and I do own the first two of them. I am missing the blue one as of the making of this video. Details are present everywhere on this very well made model. Subtle touch with the chrome lines on the rims, backlights, Hatlus license plates, headlights and Porsche logo in the front. This is clearly much more than just a family vehicle but less than a luxurious sports car and it may even fall somewhere in between. Speaking of sports cars but also entering the segment of classics is this amazing Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. We first saw this casting although being based on different versions in RLC last year and it is a casting that saw releases mainly in premium sets with the only one in the mainline being last year's silver version from the new model segment. Unfortunately it lacks the full details treatment. We do have the Mercedes logo, the aero disc wheels painted in red and the mirrors. This also has the super versions for Mix B, that one looks even better and it has the deep dish wheels with real riders on them. Only 6 cars from 2 cases as highlights make this year's start far from being exciting. Taking consideration that this is my personal opinion only and it is not based on a professional analysis. With this said I would definitely like to hear your own opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and happy collecting!